Welcome. Today, I'm going to show you how to make flat knots. And these are not only important for tuple players to know how to make, but anybody working with rawhide or flat strapping. The tubla has a continuous 35 to 38 feet of strap. And occasionally when we're pulling it, it'll break. And we don't want to necessarily replace the whole thing or lose the tension in the drum. So this special knot will help us solve that problem. So let's go and make one. Now let's take a look at the special knot, the flat knot that we can use uh, when we break a strap. So um, the reason we don't want to do a big square knot is because it takes more strap to do that. We may not always have lots of excess strap, but also um, it'll, it'll kind of bulge out, or if it's against the, the shell here, like in a situation where we have two straps and the knot is here, and we're trying to knock this peg, and you know, let's say the knot is here, we're trying to knock this peg down, it won't go over that knot. So um, there's, there's several reasons to make it as flat as possible. So let's say I'm coming along and I'm pulling the slack out or I'm putting in the pegs or something like that. And I, I'm cranking on some straps here. Uh, okay. And this one. Oh, oh no. It's broken, and it's not that uncommon, especially with older strap, as it gets brittle, or if it's really thin strap or uneven strap, you're gonna run into that on occasion. So, all right, what do I do? And if you look here, I don't have a heck of a lot of strap available. It's only that long. It's really short, and I don't wanna pull the slack ideally from this side, right? Because I'd have to go all the way around the entire drum and maybe this is like intermission of a concert or something like that. So without undoing all the pegs, because the, the tension hasn't gotten totally screwed up yet, um, these couple of pegs here we'll need to deal with, but we can leave the other ones in, all right? so. I'm going to take out the peg right next to the brake, and I think I'll probably need the slack from the peg just before the brake. And luckily, this brake happened just one length short of the knot. Sometimes it is on the back side or whatever, and in which case you can pull the slack from whichever knot has the most slack. All right. So needle nose pliers, and I'm going to take as much slack as I can out of this knot. But I want to make sure there's enough to make the knot again. All right. Yes. All right, so I'm going to leave at least that much in there couple of three inches All right. and pull the slack back because what I want is a, a decent overhang of the two pieces okay I'm gonna pull a little bit of the slack from the peg behind it that I pulled out So that gave me another couple of inches, and that should do it. Okay, right there, I've got a good three inches over the end of this strap. Now, this is interesting because I used to use, and I have to say it's a little on the dangerous side, um, a knife to 
dig into the middle. What we're gonna do is cut, like a, here's the strap, right? Strap here. Um, what you do is you cut a hole right there so it's basically uh, safely away from the end of the strap, but maybe from here to here, okay? And that could be, uh, let's say, three quarters of an inch long, enough so that you can separate it and get this end through it, okay? The knife thing works, but it's a little bit, um, a little bit dangerous. So it's a, just a really light, portable uh, hacksaw for cutting. You know, you can cut metal with that or pieces of wood. It actually has come in quite handy for other things as well. But for cutting strap, it works great. So I'll show you this. Um, now, placing the knot is important. If I put the knot, if I had enough strap, and I put the knot right there, when I'm pulling the slack, especially in the future, but, but for right now as well, this direction, that knot is going to go up. The slack's coming this way, the knot goes up, and all of a sudden, oops, it's against your braid, and you can't pull any more slack through. And that's the problem. Same thing down here. If you're pulling slack out of your drum, you ought to be aware of that knot now, because that knot is not, is not going to make it around the bend here. So, placing it more in the center zone is smart, okay? You don't wanna put it, ideally, exactly in the center because that's obviously where the pegs are usually gonna live, hopefully, near the center zone. So I could choose to put the hole here in this strap that's uh, coming down from the top, or I could put it in the bottom one. So what I'm gonna choose to do is I'm gonna put the slit into the bottom one, tie the knot with this, then the knot's gonna be on the upside of center. So then what we do is we bend the strap. So you see I'm not bending it right here because I want some solid strap. I don't want it to rip here. So I'm gonna put it back a little ways there's still enough. Yeah. It's not as easy. You don't have as much luxury when you don't have hardly any strap to play with. But we are gonna make this work. So there we go, I've put a bend in it. Okay. And uh, this will help needle nose pliers. Pretty much it right there. See that? Okay, it's all the way through. Now, if I bend half of it upwards, and go around the other side downwards. Again. Then what you get is the hole starts opening up. All right. And you can even put your needle nose pliers through there and kind of broaden out that hole a little bit. Okay. Making sure that it's not twisted. Check both sides. We're gonna put this end through the top of the hole from the front, pull it down. Okay, so it looks like this. It's gonna go around the front at a curve and through the back side it's gonna go 
around the back but on top of itself like that all right so I went down through the top of the hole and then around the front of the lower strap and then back through between the two straps in back and that gives us this it's like kind of a half knot thing but this is a, a like a, a cinch knot meaning that the more pressure as you can see the more pressure that I would pull this direction it will tighten down on itself and it'll also tighten down on this lower strap taking off some of the pressure that's being applied where it comes through the top hole because if all the pressure was on that top hole it would just rip so we want to cinch it down all right so now I'm going to just try and tighten that down and this is again where needle nose pliers if you have a really thick strap this part of it can take a little more energy getting that strap to bend in a sharp enough angle so it it really holds it doesn't slip at all that's pretty good right there and this is a fairly typical um, medium gauge strap So, yep, this is pretty darn solid, and it's not threatening to, to rip anywhere here. So I think we're good. So what I can do is cut off, if you're, if you're sure it's not going to slip at all, and in my case I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm going to square it off so there's a little bit sticking out, maybe half, half to three quarters of an inch there in case there is a teeny bit of slippage. And I'm gonna cut off this point of the strap that has the hole in it, but I'm not gonna get it all the way down near the, the um, hole there because that's probably over time when we start really pulling on it, it'll probably expand slightly. So give it a good three quarters all the way up to like a, an inch of room. So that's pretty neat right there. And what we can do is, before we get out the hook and stuff, just pull it down. And yeah, that's sitting in a good spot there. So I'll put this back in. So there's barely enough here <laughs> for me to get that knot in. So what I'm going to do is, this still feels nice and tense over here, so thank goodness I didn't have to take out everything, but sometimes you do. So uh, we can't always tell where our <laughs> strap is going to break. All right, so it went up a little bit, but it's still down in the zone where it's not going to get in the way of my hand. Slack through. Now I'm gonna do what we've done in the other videos here. Let's do it again quick. Just use the needle nose pliers to pull as much slack out of these last two straps here as I can. Good, put my thumb there, lock it in. Goes under. barely enough to make this work. But since this does happen, it was kind of a good example. Alright, lock that down. 
put these pegs back in in the center too. Straps. That feels like a good amount of tension. And these center two, which includes the one with the knot, right? It feels pretty good. It hasn't slipped. Okay, good. And if need be, I can put that up on the third strap, but it's pretty much out of the way. There it is. It's an awesome knot. Ugh. I hope it works for you. So take care, and I'll see you next time.